So coming up next in our Extra Life Marathon is going to be Vector Man for the Sega Genesis. This was a game we played at our very first Extra Life event back in 2013, and it was featured. Uh, it was featured a couple of times uh, since then, but it's been many, many years and many marathons since last time we featured Vector Man, uh, just because I feel like it, it wasn't a big game to put on the schedule. It was just like a game. So we it, we just kind of forgot about it, uh, and yeah, it was just a game that I never really thought to put on the schedule again, and it's been off for about half a decade now, so I think it's time we bring back Vector Man and put it on. This is a game featuring pre-rendered graphics, kind of like Donkey Kong Country uh, for the Sega Genesis, and it was made by Blue Sky Software. A fantastic game, lots of challenge, lots of variety in enemies, lots of variety in stages, uh, great soundtrack, and uh, basically the story of Vector Man, since we're going to skip over it, is that uh, Vector Man is an Orbot, which is a robot that cleans up trash because humanity has basically turned the planet into a huge garbage dump, and uh, Vector Man's cleaning it up, but the, there's another robot who, uh, who's, uh, uh, Raster, who fuses with an atomic bomb and becomes Warhead and turns evil. So Warhead tries to put all the ore bots under his control to take over the planet, and Vector Man sets out to stop him. Yes, it is Vector and Raster, as in the graphics types. That's why they're named that, for the 3D rendering. So, there you go. And, uh, uh, yeah. So let's kick on Vector Man and let's jam out. Real quick, I want to turn the difficulty down to lame. Putting on easy for the sake of the marathon. Here we go. Kind of loud. The Vector Man shoots televisions and gets power ups and items from them. This game is legit, it's the real deal. There's a ton of secrets in this game to find. I'm talking tons. Break these TVs, who fucking cares? Got the machine gun. Got a checkpoint. In case I in case I die on the first stage. More time on the clock in case I need it. Who who knows? Okay, first first stage boss coming up in a second here. He's super easy. Whoops, missed that over. Oh well. It's a plane with little doodads hanging off of it. It's not very aerodynamic. So it attacks by dropping bombs and also by trying to do those little tally whackers, and it's dead. 
Name of that boss is Sludge Barge. Oh, I didn't start the timer. Whoops. That's that level done. power up actually. You don't refill health between stages. This level kind of sucks because if you go for 100% completion on it, you'll run out of time. Got the X5 multiplier. So the multiplier in this game is pretty funky because it, it multiplies anything you pick up. That includes one-ups, that includes health increases, that includes, like, everything. score to one up again but yeah using using the multipliers on uh, the stage hydroponic lab it is possible to get a 10 up if you pick up the 10x multiplier that comes out of one of the TVs and then just hustle all the way to the end of the stage uh, you can get a you can get a, a one-up hidden inside of a, a TV it's a guaranteed drop and you can get a 10 up from it I ducked Got the fish transformation. More time. Fuck, let's go in here. Who cares? Pick up this item. I don't normally say this, but if you have an aversion to flashing lights, uh, look away. Right now. Damn it! I'm going too fast. I need to chill out. Here we go. So yeah, if uh, you collect all the photons and destroy all the TVs, you get special bonuses. You get big bonuses, actually. You get enough that you can basically get a one-up from all the points.
Another boss in this stage. Aurora Borealis is the name of this boss. Aurora Borealis. So you might notice I can use Vectorman's jump jets to uh, do some damage. And that's actually the hardest hitting uh, thing in the game to damage with is Vectorman's little boosters. I don't want those. Just points. Who plays games for score anymore? Only appearance of the missile transformation right here. So we got a weird pelican thing first. Pelican. Now we got a bear. Okay, this bear's not playing by the rules. I want him to be doing that. He just kept shooting at me. Dick. Okay, this level is the first appearance of the, the bonus round in this game. And I died. I got hit by a bug. It's hard to see. There's so, so many things going on on this stage. It's hard to see what's what. Q-tip weapon. Not what it's called, by the way. It's just what I call it. I've got a shield. If I can get out of here, I, you can see it. Got these little beanie boppers spinning around. Oh, my shield ran out. You can kind of confuse the game if you have a shield and a weapon upgrade at the same time. It doesn't really know what to do. secret back here. So here's how you break the shield generator for the, uh, the thing. And fuck it, let's go to the bonus round. I'll show you guys the bonus round. We might as well. We're behind, we're behind schedule, so who cares? Okay. 
So you just shoot your little balls, your little molecule ball, you shoot him at Warhead who appears. And he gets faster and faster. You're supposed to survive until the end, but it's actually really hard to do that. Yeah, I lost. Oh well. It refills your health for you at least. lot of the drill power up. Don't want to be up here. Take me down. See if we can do this. Most health you can have is 10 bars of health. So if I do this right, we can get 10 bars right here. And I fucked it up. God damn it. Missed the jump. Oh, good. Clockwork hit me. Wonderful. Oh wait, try, try again! Oh no, oh, it didn't multiply it! I thought it multiplied that. Hey, why is the guy giving me a hard time? Where is he? It's much easier just to damage him by using the jump jets. Jumping over him. Because he always shoots out those little spit, those little fireballs whenever you hit him. About time. Never die on this stage. Not playing very good on this Vector Man thing.
Ouch. There's a false wall in this level somewhere uh, where you can jump through and there's like a one-up or something. I need, to, I need to grab that. We had like 13 lives at the beginning of this playthrough. You guys say more drill? Want to see more drill? There's more drill. Max health refill down there. That's good, I guess. Whoops. I didn't mean to end the stage, that's where the false wall is. I didn't even- that's not even where the- the exit should be like at the very end! Okay, I'm about to do something really stupid. max health in there. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the, uh... You can shoot these, by the way. For some reason, you can, you can break those. I'm gonna grab the X10 multiplier, and I'm gonna floor it to the end of the stage. I'm gonna get the, uh, I'm gonna get the one up. I don't think it, it's not right here, is it? There it is, okay. I don't think it's right here. No, that's just the buggy power up. Fuck, I don't want that. Oh, I got a times two multiplier somewhere. I fucking lost it. I must hit an enemy with, with something and got it. God damn it. What kind of kickback was that? There's the one up. Oh, well, at least I got a three up out of it. Acrobats are gonna turn into this stupid little walking man now. Buh, 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 buh. Easy boss. I got hit by him once because I wasn't paying attention, but whatever. I can't believe I fucked up on the X10. That would have put us right back in the game. We got six lives, though. that should be enough. Some of these harder stages are kind of bullshit, though.
the uh, the remixed uh, Sega Tunes version of this track is amazing. Making sure. You guys ready for airplane mode? You can't handle airplane, Vector Man. I I almost fucked up. Got my health meter extended. You're just supposed to know about that. Again, there's so many secrets in this game that you just will not find on your first playthrough. You can try out the bonus stage again if you want. I don't want to though. I already showed it off once, that's enough. There we go. All right, here's the hard boss. We're done. I got hit once. There's another one up to get inside this level. I forgot where it was though. Oh well. Didn't I have an X3 multiplier or did it already run out? Dark Ruins has a one-up to pick up as well. The problem is remembering where it is. Oh, 
also a bonus round in this stage, apparently. Forgot about that. Don't fall down. Vector Man, I requested the opposite of this. Item despawn that was in that TV. Yeah, it did. God damn it. I don't want to get out of here. Let's go to the bonus stage. Fuck it. I'm angry. I'm big angry. Funny is that we're trying this with just as much health as we did last time. We made it! I beat it! You guys thought it couldn't be done. Boy, do y'all look stupid. Okay, I'm gonna say it again. There's a one up on this stage as well, but this time I know where it is. it off. Like I said, the game gets bullshit. multiplier. Fantastic. Bunch of hidden platforms up here. Again, Game's full of secrets! Some of them are kinda stupid! They 
Here's the one up. Spider bomber. That's, that's, that, that, that thing's called. Okay, piranha time. Obviously, he's invincible when he's doing his little charge thing. Now we got a spooky boss coming up. Are you ready for a creepy looking monkey thing? In hell. No. I like how they dropped a multiplier just to taunt me. Back and forth. Okay, so there's not gonna be a health down here because I already collected it. Yeah, fuck. That was easy. Eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed this level is called the World Link Center. You might be asking, Draco, is that where you got the name for the World Link Center stage on your on your world sucks? Yes, it is. It sure is. Right there, yeah. Fuck, messed up. We got it. We got to backtrack.
Well... down here. I got spun around again. Here we go. Whoops. So this is Warhead's propaganda center where he sends out his broadcast and you know, everything to like brainwash robots or whatever. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's doing bad shit, okay? He's doing stuff he's not supposed to be doing. Tell him to stop uploading those videos. Stop all the downloading. We're going to cut the internet down. For fuck's sake, how many of these conveyor belts are there? Oh shit. Internet lumberjack power. He's cutting it down. up and down in this stage, which is why it gets confusing. It's like a maze, and I haven't played this game in several years, so I've kind of forgotten the route. Okay, we're close to the end once, once we see these things.
Coming up next is the final stage. Twist and shout. So, Warhead has formed a tornado below him, consisting entirely of lawn furniture and uh, big screen TVs. And a couple of roofs from houses. And I died immediately upon getting up. He punched me right away. Try not to get cheap shotted in this stage. Okay. That's why you use the jump jets. Kicked his ass. That was hard. That was rough. Where had his vanquished? All right. Hey, thanks for checking out Gatorbox on YouTube. We really appreciate it. If you like what you saw and you want to kick around with us live, follow us on Twitch because we do this several times during the week. And if you want to support this channel, you can do so by subscribing right here on YouTube, following or subscribing over on Twitch, or even making a pledge on Patreon. Your support over the years has been tremendous. Thank you so, so much. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video right here on Gatorbox.